What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Kurt Yard and welcome to my FPL season. Hopefully something that remains throughout the rest of the season. So what's going on everyone, this series is basically to take the me asking you questions out of the preview and preview and leave that as just permanent facts and tips to help you guys and this is basically where I talk about my season so far and what went on. And also one quick thing to mention, for those of you asking, I am fine, I've received a lot of comments and a lot of messages about the video I posted on Sunday, you know, which is, is nice to see, I thank you all for that, but I am fine, uh, I, as far as I know that's the end of it, the six dislikes though, I mean, uh, someone posted a comment saying if the bully is reading this and, you know, go do one basically, and the six dislikes mean they probably have um, viewed it, but nevertheless let's get on to um, the video, so basically, it went okay, I mean, to look at the facts, I got off to a, a good start, and it all went down here, I did get a win, that however disappointed me though, and disappointed me because when you look at my points, I have probably hopefully for the last time forgot to save my team. Bench boost was played, and what a mistake that was! I only got two extra points from Jeff, which won me the game anyway. When I played my team, I had this. When I meant to take the bench boost off, I took it off, and I basically just switched the company for Damian, which would have happened anyway. The disappointing thing is, none of the players on the bench got a point. I mean, Gomez, you know, he got no points. Didn't play against Norwich. That's worrying for me. Could that mean he's out of the team for now? Um, could mean I need to find a new defender, cash in all the little bit of profit I got. And then, um, but that's, um, that's another, one disappointing thing that happened. Another one is that transfer wise, I didn't get an extra free transfer, so I'm just stuck on two, which isn't very good. Good thing though, I stuck with Mars as my captain. He helped me. He's now on a staggering amount of points. 58 from the first six games. That's ridiculous. Um, Mara did well. Um, McCarthy, in the end, was the best choice to bring in goal, but uh, it didn't really matter in the end. Wilson had a good game. Hazard turned up trumps, although the goal was lucky. He was very much in the hazard of last season against Arsenal. You know, really gave him a threat. As far as things go, we need transfers. I didn't make it last week. I think that helped me because uh, Hula handed a match against Liverpool. And then Hazard did also very well. Um, where I'm going to go with this is for me, will company play the next game? So it's about 26th, uh, that's against Tottenham away. I feel like Tottenham with Sun on form, they could score some goals. However, uh, me to save Sun, uh, as far as knee jerk decisions go, and I will go with I do think it's a knee jerk decision because he is a forward on this. However, he is only a midfielder, a left winger, in retrospect to. Um, where he plays, which you know, you could say that's a hard for him as a forward. He is a winger, he will play in winger, he can play up front. Then you can say the same thing about Arsenal's Alexis Sanchez, who is on you know, that many points. He doesn't really um, play down the wing, can play up front, plays exactly the same role, really, as Sun. Um, but I'd rather have Sanchez in the team rather than Sun. If you're going to have a pick between two and you can afford both, because um, you know, Sanchez is more likely to pick up um, the points and also he gets more points for scoring and I think assisting but I'm not too sure, don't count me on that. But, we are here, um, our team is where it is, it's going pretty well. Um, I will um, quickly just go through the players I want to get rid of, plus by the way, Mario's again is up to 6.4 million, I think he started on 5.5 which is ridiculous amount of money, when you look at his history, I mean never have I seen someone jump up at 3, you know you got 2 and you got 3. You know, really, one bad game. He did score in that game, ruled offside, then took off for precaution, which is obviously, you know, if he wasn't fit, he would have had you know, probably about 10 points. He would have picked up bonus points for that and a goal. So he had the goal onto there, plus the 90 minutes, you know, that's 7 points. And this, it, it bears no reflection on anyone else, you know, doing what he's doing at the moment, which is he is that currently, you know, statements are going to be made. The best player in the Premier League, form wise, you know, yeah, obviously you're going to think class, you've got players like Aguero like Rooney, you know, no longer added by your, which is unfortunately, <laughs> um, but, you know, he's doing very well, and for me, the fact that he's only got 48%, you know, people need to start going with him, because he's hot, you know, I did say a two game roll, he surpassed that, three game roll, he surpassed that, he's still shit hot, get him in your teams, tip number one, get him in your teams, I'll be talking about him a lot, but, players I'm considering getting rid of, he is one, hasn't really performed well since the game he had, and number one, his company, which is a you know, debatable one, but something I feel like needs to be done. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then next is Torre. Uh, gone up in price, 
you know, we can sell him for a lot more. He's worth 9 million now instead of um, 8.5, I believe he started on. Yeah, instead of 8.5. Got up pretty much constantly. Uh, we're doing alright. It's a bit flat. You know, you could say next few games you got away at Tottenham, but then look at the games after that. Newcastle at home, you know, Bournemouth at home, could be games where he sparks alive. Likes to play against Man United, proved that of his recent performances against them. You got Norwich, you got Villa, you got Liverpool, you could brush aside. Got a lot of games, um, but for me, I don't think he's going to be a, a permanent contender for points this season. He has played um, or started um, very much like the Torre of old, uh, unlike the Torre of last season, 10 goals on, you know, one assist has already gone over his assist by 200 or 100%, 200%, whatever it is. Uh, but for me, the first player I want to try and see if I can squeeze in uh, is um, I probably should have gone on to Manchester City. He hasn't started well. Is Aguero? He hasn't started very well. Um, he did grab an assist then. You know he's gone up. You know basically because as soon as he scores a goal, he needs to go up. Um, for me, I'm not sure how he went up two because um, he had a very poor start. You know just one goal and one assist in the first six games from Aguero. You know, admittedly he didn't start two of them. Or it came off one of them, I think. Um, no, but it's, it's a it's a strange one. Uh, Aguero's up there. Of one person I want to bring in. You know, look at the other forwards. They're in form. You know, Ikalo is definitely one I'd bring in. You know, if I bring Ikalo in, I've got money to spend elsewhere. But the thing is, where do I spend it? You, know, you look at defenders. You know, and it's, um, it's not really one there that is expensive. You got some midfielders that are doing well. You know, you got the Ayar Torre I can bring back in. I've got 9.4 million to spend on the defender. So it, it, it begs the question, do I go more expensive on some players? Do I you know, risk maybe not getting Nicalo, Nicalo instead of Wilson? Or maybe just get rid of Gomez up top? Gomez has fired two blanks now in a row, which is worrying because he scored in every one of his four games, um, although not playing in every minute. And um, you know he's, he's fired a few blanks. So it is going to be worrying. I'm not sure. Oh, that's, that's last season. Never mind. I was being a dummy. Um, but you, you look at this team, you think there's not really much change here. If companies fit, you know, they're going to do well. For me, I only need to change two players. That's the Lukaku and Torre. And for me, I am going to go with a tip that I saw in the comments. You may as well just get a winner in. He's going to be in there um, in the end, which is pretty true. And I would say Costa, but I don't like people that eat people. And I find him, you know, as much as people can defend him, I find him, you know, for modern day football, a disgusting player. Um, on my personal... Uh, reasoning, he's not even on the first page, is he? Oh, he is there. So Aguero comes in. You've only got 3.8 there. That's where the problems lie. That is where the problems lie. And unfortunately, I don't have 3.8 million to spend on a um, on a midfielder. So you know we have problems. Uh, I'm going to try and work through them as we go along. I mean, it could bring Hulahan in. Brings me 11.9 million, and we're going to sort this on price now. Problems we have are, you know, who do we pick? Sturridge is black playing, good to see, picked up two points, um, we'll be firing again hopefully soon. And you got Rooney, not for me, um, Kane, Giroud, um, probably not Giroud, probably not Kane, both of them out of form, Benteke, not for me, Bonnie, not for me, Lukaku, not for me, Marshall, you know, could be a good player, but for now, I'll talk about that in the, um, in the review and the preview as well, um, but for me, I'm just going to you know, leave it as it is, the one transfer, of bringing Hulahan in as we have 3.8 million in the bank, which <laughs> is exactly the same the other way around when I've had um, Aguero up front. But it gives me it gives me options. It gives me um, you know many options to do. maybe I just keep the um, it as it is. Maybe bolster up my defence a bit, get rid of Gomez for another good defender. It gives me options. But thank you guys for watching. Nevertheless, if you have, if you have liked this video, then leave a like. Let me think in the comments down below and subscribe if you like I'm worthy. Let me know what you think about FPL season in general. Um, it gives me a chance now so I can just focus on the facts and the tips and the tricks for you lot um, in the next preview and review. I'm recording them after I've recorded this. this is the first one I've recorded. But thank you guys for watching. Nevertheless, also help me out in the comments if you want to. And peace.